this? Over here. Hey, Saul. Took you long enough. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. What kind of mood is he in? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. Is anyone with him? Yeah, the gang leaders. He sent for them before you came. Why did he do that? Why do you think? He's defending his territory. I want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall! Okay, you can go in. Mr. Thane, thank you for agreeing to see me. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To... ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? The princess got her back up against the wall. She's willing to make a few concessions in order to get us out of this. Like negotiating with you, for example. She's completely overwhelmed, you mean? That's one take on things. Keep going. We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. But we might have a fighting chance. What? The beating you guys took wasn't enough? The prince may be a lot of things, but she's no coward. She won't give up without a fight. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. Let's just say it was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. Oh, the Camarilla. <laughs> you are in it deeper than deep. I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. Then you're sentencing us all to final death. I'm protecting my own. Your prince should do the same. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made, and you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake.
God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're gonna have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But they could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Thane will change his mind? Uh, there's strength in numbers. You're the head of the coterie, too. They know you. If you talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. Are you sure that could work? Thane's gonna be pissed. That's the risk. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right. Let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Rafa. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. I'm sentencing her to final death. Damn it. Far cry from the glitz and glamour of the court. They really got a good setup here. That must be the Baron's office. him drooling over my vessels. It's unacceptable. Good. Again. One, two, one, two. Betray your peace and me. One, two, one. Oh, now you're the one giving me orders. That's an order. Sarahs, I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when, 
Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Saris, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. If I want them to back me, I need to find a solution. Hey. I see what you're trying to do. Is that a threat? You're way off. I'm on your side. I want to help. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Cirrus has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Cirrus disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see, but what's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> she works for them, and she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. And you're not? Hell no. I was there when those bastards were running around terrorizing everyone. Fuck them. If Sarah's works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah, but I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good for the both of us. You in? I'm with you. All right. Then listen carefully. I've got dirt on Sirius. Bank accounts. The kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the Coterie for good. Let me guess. Your files prove she's skimming money off the top. Am I right? Bingo. And is it true? That's not important. You couldn't find anything to blame her for, could you? I got tons of things to blame her for. But nothing blaring, you're guilty. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Cirrus is out, then I'll replace her, and I'll help you. I doubt a couple pieces of paper will be enough to push her out the door. Yeah? Well, think again. We don't have the same resources you do. So, if we were to find out, she's been helping herself to the little we have. How long have you been sitting on these papers? I've been preparing all of this for a couple of months. I was just waiting for the right time to make my move. You're using me. I'm freaking trying to help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? You can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's gotta find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Saris's personal safe. It's in a secure room. You'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? For the safe, I mean. It's not a code. It's a card. Here. You'll find it upstairs. Any questions? Just to be sure, could you go over all that again? I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you got some news. I'm counting on you.
I don't think I have any other choice. I wonder what else he's hiding. not the time. Always start by making a cross on one of the sides. The rest will follow. Here we are. The vault. done. I hope I won't regret it. About that job you gave me. Yes? It's done. I planted the documents. Really? Ah, I knew I could count on you. What do we do now? We try to buy ourselves some time. I need to tell the others about our little discovery. In the meantime, you need to keep Saris in her office. How am I supposed to do that? Go talk to her. Make up some dumb excuse. Anything. We'll meet up with you when we're ready. And then? I have a hard time imagining her accepting. That's my problem. Now get out of here. We don't have a second to waste. Look who's back. I know you missed me. I've got something to tell you that you're not gonna like. What? It has to do with your second. Yardley? What's the problem? He wants you out of the picture. Uh, excuse me? He knows you won't help us against the SI. He offered to help me. In exchange for your head. No way. Do you have any proof to back up your claim? He asked me to plant some forged documents in your safe. They're there if you want to check. What kind of documents? The kind that'll get you in deep shit. Uh, Yardley. I knew he was up to something. But for him to use you against me, he sunk to a new level. That's all I know. I guess I should thank you. You owe me more than that. I saved your ass. I want you to talk to Thane and defend Hazel's offer. I knew it. You might be onto something, but what's in it for me? You could have a new sector. Oh, really? Which neighborhood? 
I can't promise you downtown, but what about Jamaica Plain? Nah, the neighborhood's got nothing to offer. That's not enough. It's gotta be two neighborhoods or nothing. You could get Brighton. There are lots of students there, right? Yeah, lots of bars, parties. Now you're talking. That could work. This is your first time, isn't it? What, negotiating? No, fighting. I've spent my life doing it. So you should know that you rarely win without sacrificing something. How many people will be destroyed tonight if I agree to help you? How many of your friends? Are you ready to bear that burden? Whether or not I'm able to convince you to help me, I'll have blood on my hands. And you accept that? I didn't really have a choice. That's what I thought. You're not here because you believe in this fight. You're just following orders, that's all. And you want us to line up behind you. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. It's not about you, it's your prince. I know you don't trust Hazel. Because I know her too well, Randall does too. If you reach out to help her, she'll cut off your hand. What makes things any different this time? I'll be there to stop her. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try. Her primogen has the means to control her. So, are you part of that band of thieves? Exactly. Really? <laughs> now that you mention it, you're a lot like them. Hmm, maybe we could use you to our advantage. You'll be the one to take the blows. Fine, I'll help you and back your request. But I can't promise anything. I know. With you and Saul, that should do it. Saul? Yeah. She agreed to help me. Huh. All you're missing is Rafa, and you'll have a winning hand. Hell of a team. Thane will give in. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Listen, I've got to wrap up a couple of things with my second first. I'll meet up with you later, okay? All right. One last thing. If your prince betrays us, I'll destroy you. Stop talking. Dregs of humanity. They're barely standing. I hope I won't have to feed on that. with me. There.
Hmm. Who knows where these tunnels could lead? From the position of the body, I'd say he fell off the ladder. What was he doing here? Trying to escape. Isn't that hard? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. scary. What the heck is that? Fucking go down, left, no, no, right. Fuck. There's something in the corner. Trouble to hide this place. Look at this old thing. It's almost as old as I am. His suit has seen better days. I've seen this symbol before. I wonder what they use all these cameras for. Spy gear. It's a miracle that it still works. Delson? Nelson?
Hold up. Hazel is his sire? Ooh. I thought he'd been destroyed. I wonder what they use all these cameras for. Maybe I can reset it. I should have known. I'd heard that the prince's bitch was sniffing around here. How did you get in? Through the front door. How banal. I'll come up with something better next time. You must be Mem Lewis. Tell me, why shouldn't I just put an end to you right now? It would be a shame to anger your sire. What are you talking about? My sire's been gone for ages. That's odd. Hazel looked like she was in great shape earlier. What? Shit. Did she send you here after me? No. I'm not here for you. No? Then why exactly are you here? Saul told me I should come see you. She thinks you could help us. Don't tell me she agrees with your shitty plan. How do you... I got a detailed report about your little crisis meeting. Thane was right to refuse to cooperate. It would be a huge mistake. It will be if you don't help us. We're not allies. Never have been, never will be. So why should we risk our asses to save yours? You do realize that this problem isn't just about the camp. We've learned to make ourselves scarce. Scarce? You're hiding out on a fucking barge. How long do you think it will take before they come for you? We'll be gone before that can happen. Where? They'll hunt you down like they did in London. I'm sorry, but we're all in this together. Like it or not. Maybe. Anyways, the old bat is wrong. London? Vienna? We've seen what they can do. You're no match for them. You don't stand a chance. It's going to be tough for sure. But it's not impossible if we unite our forces. I know that we're complete opposites. But it's just for tonight. With you. The humans won't stand a chance. A lot of times there's a gap between the stats and reality, Lewis. Especially since we have no idea how many of them there really are. We're kindred, damn it. Just one of us is worth five of theirs. We'll crush them. One to five. It could work. Listen, even if you're right, even if all of that were true, I couldn't help you. I can't. Why not? What's stopping you? You know very well who's stopping me. Hazel. She doesn't know I'm still here. And if she were to find out, well, you get the picture. I've been working for years to make sure it doesn't happen. It was complicated enough before. But it's even harder now that she's Prince. My existence is at stake, Lewis. And I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your alliance. I see where you're coming from. But I swear nothing will happen to you. I won't let Hazel touch you. She's the prince. You have no power over her. I'm a member of the Primogen Council. At least, I will be soon. I can protect you. Really? A member of the Council? I don't know. I'd be hanging all my hopes on you. It's either that, or final death will come knocking in a matter of days. You have to trust me, Rafa. <sighs> all right. I got your message. You can count on me to try to clean up your prince's mess. Thanks, Rafa. I'm not doing it for you. I know. But thanks anyways. We've got to get ready. I'll give the others a heads up and tell them to let you in. Great. 
I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, Lewis. We won't forget you. I've got to get ready. I'll meet up with you later. But that's the last time you break in here. Got it? Got it. I did it! Rafa is with me. With him and Saris, Dane should come around. I've got to tell Saul. remind me of when we fled France and now the SI might force us to flee again should have left two hours ago what are we waiting for for thing to change his plans what they just told us you'll do what Saul tells you come on it won't take long Or two. Until then, stay cool. Saris and her bunch are on edge tonight. I don't want any trouble. Got it? Yeah. Ah, still in one piece. I'm impressed. Your friends might hate me, but they're afraid of Hazel. They wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head. It's not just Hazel. Everyone knows the Black Rattler's Rose. So, what do you think? Must be a hell of a change from all those tight asses at court, huh? Yeah. It's not bad. Things seem a lot simpler here. Easier to understand. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. It's a far cry from their little intrigues, sure, but it's not all roses here either. Hazel's been clamping the vice. Nah, it's not just her. The gang wars are also a problem, and then there's the overpopulation issue. We deal with it. It's the price of freedom. Exactly. You know, your message earlier. Uh, at the time, I really thought you wanted to take the plunge. Or that you were going to join us. <laughs> Got your hopes up. I'm a little disappointed. I think you have your place here. You should think about it. Not tonight. I know. But if you have any questions, let me know. I was able to talk to Rafa. And? He was suspicious at first, but he came to understand the severity of the situation. He's agreed to help us. Well done. Rafa's a little rough around the edges, but he's a good leader. You did the right thing. Were you able to bring up our plans to Cirrus? Yes. It wasn't easy, but she's in. I knew you could do it. Saris and Randall are close. He'll listen to her. So, what do you say we go see Thane? I think it's high time we did. All right. I'm right behind you. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Ready? Do I really want to do this? Then again, it's either me or them. You don't deserve that. 
M.M., what the hell are you doing? See you later, Saul. I'll handle it.